Hey everyone, so a friend of mine runs a local uh, blood drive for the Red Cross and she's done it for years and I've always kind of just driven by and I haven't stopped by the blood drive and finally she sent me an email and then um, the other night uh, my friend, uh, friend called me and said my wife just had to have emergency surgery in the hospital and, um, and I thought, you know, she probably needed some blood and then I got this email from my friend Jan about her blood drive and I realized that that's where the blood comes from is from us and I thought okay I'm gonna go give blood so we're gonna take the wonderful truck here and go give blood all right all right here we go I've never done this before, but it should be pretty simple. Okay, that was probably one of the easiest things I've ever done. You literally, you just have to sit around, you ask some questions, they have some health questions for you, they take a little pin prick and they test your blood, and then you just lie down on a table, and, it, and you can barely feel when, when, they, when they're gonna take your blood, it's like a little pinch, and then you just lay there for 10 minutes. They're really nice people. They even told me some bad jokes. And then you get to sit down at this table full of food, which, you know, I like. And they had some really nice sandwiches, egg salad sandwiches with some pickle relish in it, which I, I'm not a big pickle relish fan, but this was pretty good. And they're all homemade sandwiches from volunteers here in the town. And I don't know, I just thought it was good that I did that. And they also, they give you t-shirts. So I got um, a Patriots, New England Patriots t-shirt, and they're doing really well this year, so. Um, you know, it's all a good thing. So please consider giving blood, all right? There's a website you can go to. If you see a blood drive sign, you're driving down the road, or if you hear about one in your town, just go over there. It takes less than an hour. It's really, really simple, all right? I'll see you later. So today we are going to attempt uh, forsythia removal. Um, we have a nice stone wall in front of our house, and the forsythia is overtaking the stone wall. Uh, some forsythia for Scythia is nice, but it's to me it's a weed. It's an invasive weed. It has a pretty yellow flower, but we're gonna try and remove it today. And we're gonna remove it in a very special way today. We're gonna use the truck and we're gonna use chain because these roots are just incredibly obnoxious. So rather than try and dig these things out because I dug them out before and it didn't work, we're gonna try and rip the rip the bush out. So let's see what happens. I feel like Harry Houdini here with the chains. <laughs> chain the base of the bush and I suggest intertwining the chain a couple times around and in between and this is a, a toe chain and toe chains are nice because they have a nice kind of hook ow there's some uh, rose thorns in here watch out in addition to the forsythia so uh, toe chains are nice because they have a little slot and your chain yeah, I'll go out here. It fits, it fits right in like that. Because the next link here is at a 90 degree, it locks the chain right in there. So we're just going to tighten this up around the rose thorns that are in there too. And we're going to see what happens. Let the mayhem ensue. Yeah, so here we go. Let's see what happens. It's, you know, it's a project. Think the bumper will stay on? Maybe. <laughs> it is a 25 year old truck, so ah. bleeding for precipitate removal. All right, here we go. But we didn't quite get the roots though, did we? Well, we got a lot more of it than we would with the pruners, so. Oh, that's not how to do it. This is the biggest one yet, so we'll see what happens. So we lock that in, like that. And let's try this again. 
not nearly as accurate as tree felling, is it? What's going on here, Eric? Well, we only got half the half the forsythia bush, so we're gonna pull it the other way and try and yank it all the way out. Just barely connected. <laughs> One. Look at that root, man. Weeds. It's the power of a Ford F-150 right here. Okay, so there you go. That's a little how-to on forsythia removal. Don't do this if you don't know what you're doing. You do at your own risk. All those disclaimers at the bottom. And do it when the boss lady is not home. <laughs>